guys and welcome back to another video um recently i just got a new windows laptop and i thought why not customize it and take you guys with me so yeah today i'm gonna be customizing my new windows laptop and i'll be showing how you guys can also customize it and make it aesthetic because let's face it we are all done with that default windows layout and we just want to make things better you know all right so the first step is to download all the necessary apps you need are the apps that you would add a shortcut to in your desktop for example i have notion notion calendar spotify davinci resolve and you know other apps that you may need we can start downloading that now after downloading those apps we're now going to make our wallpaper which is like the main piece of attention in a laptop so you know we, we have to really be creative with it and you know add our personal touch onto it since in windows you can't really add a widget by default and you have to install an external app like rain meter but considering that not all of us have like a powerful cpu gpu and large ram um other pcs may not be able to run that in the background and it may crash a few times leading to a few lags in your laptop so i just decided not to use rain meter for this video as an alternative i'm gonna be making my home screen or like wallpaper desktop wallpaper through canva and i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make it as well for context i do have canva pro so maybe some features are not going to be available for you if you try to make it on your own however i think most of these features um, are accessible in the free version so yeah so once you open canva just press this presentation um yeah you're just gonna make a new project with the presentation size since that's like the standard size of a desktop wallpaper and since i've already made one i'm just gonna click on that file next thing you're gonna do is open pinterest because pinterest is like the home of all like aesthetic images and resources you can find and inspirations so open pinterest and you can browse your home feed if you find any but um the first thing i did was search in the search bar i typed um desktop wallpaper or layout or whatever yeah that's that's mainly the reason why my homepage has pictures or images of these desktop wallpapers so yeah i just clicked on one to find inspiration on how i want to make my desktop wallpaper so the desktop wallpaper i'm planning to make the artists i like i'm gonna put it in this wallpaper so i searched for wave to earth and there's this type of pose i want which is them facing up from like a plain background because i want to remove the background and add it to a different image in canva so yeah i'm, I'm searching for that image and i'll be editing it so what i want to go for in this wallpaper is the same layout in like a macbook since in a mac you can add widgets or like photo widgets of different stuff um and since in windows you can't do that i was thinking maybe i can just make it part of the wallpaper but make it look like a widget so yeah that's what i'm going for in this wallpaper so canvas background remover option is actually a paid feature but i'm sure you can find other websites that offer background removing and um you can just paste it to canva if you want to make or remove the background of an image i 
I actually made a board of the images I want to put in my wallpaper. And I have this um, beach image of like the wave. And it's from an Instagram post of this user. And I'm just gonna use this as the background for my wallpaper. And yeah, all credits to this user since um, it is their image. And um, I'm just adding it to my like background. So I just searched for an Instagram photo downloader and pasted the link of the post so that the image would be a bit more high in quality and not just um, like 400 pixels or whatever. Alright, in this clip, I'm now searching for images to add as my quote-unquote widget. So this is just basically a widget in disguise. I'm adding a shadow effect to make it sort of lift off the main background so that it looks like it's not part of the um, desktop wallpaper. And yeah, this is me attempting to remove the excess orangey red background from wave to earth cover but i couldn't so i just chose a different album with an easier uh, background to remove so this is my finished product this is my desktop wallpaper and once you're finished with adding the widgets you're now gonna look for icons in Pinterest. So basically search for like PNG icons that um, you can use as um, shortcut icons for your desktop wallpaper. And if you don't wanna search, I have a link below of what icons I've used and you can just get them for free with, it already has the background removed so you don't have to worry about that. If you want to follow the whole step-by-step -step process I did, you can create a blank Instagram post or you can create a new project with the Instagram post as the template since the Instagram post by default is a square and you need your icons to be in a square ratio before removing the background. Since I already have a project for my icons, I'm just going to open that project yeah, and edit there. Now I want you to count how many desktop shortcuts you have so that you know how many icons you have to find on Pinterest and now I want you to search for some desktop icons in Pinterest. Um, just search for whatever type of object you want and add the word PNG. So for example, glasses PNG, just search that in Pinterest. Again, if you don't want to go through these steps, you can just check the link in my description and get the icons I've used for free. And in my previous videos, I also have different kinds of icons. If you want a different style, you can use those for your desktop. After removing the background of the icons in Canva, you have to export it as PNG and click on the option transparent background so that when you export the image it has a transparent background after that you have to convert these png images to an icon file so that it can be used as an icon for your desktop shortcuts or folders so i went to this website to convert my images from png to icon and it was kind of blurry so i actually didn't like the conversion from this website i used a different website later on which is this one and if you want i'll also link it in the description if you're currently in the process of making your desktop icons so yeah this website has it has a clear resolution of the icons 
once it's used in your desktop. So the steps to customize your desktop icons is first right click the shortcut you want to change the icon off, then go to properties. Then you're going to see this button that says change icon. Just browse for the location where you saved it. And also make sure that the location where you place your icons won't be moved once you already use it as an icon because if you apply it to your desktop shortcut and then you move the location of that icon it's gonna appear as this white blank paper thing and yeah so just make sure to keep your icons in one file in your laptop for example in your documents file just create a folder that says icons just like what i did so that your files won't get lost and your shortcuts won't look like this the next step is to rename your shortcuts so as you can see the shorts the shortcuts in your desktop have these lengthy names and they just don't look that much appealing so just open your file explorer then click on that shortcut on what shortcut you want to rename and as you can see there's this icon in the top part of your file explorer and just click on that to rename your shortcut and just name it whatever you like You might notice in your desktop you have this thing called the recycle bin and the pc folder or basically your name written on a folder so you can actually customize that as well and i discovered that later on after filming um this whole thing so yeah that's me realizing you could change that as well so the step the first step is just search settings and then you see these lines at the top left just click on that click on personalization click on themes and then you scroll down then click on desktop icon settings and then this window will appear and then just click on um, the item in your desktop. For example, this folder with your name, click on that and click change icon. And then same thing, just browse for the icon and choose whatever you like to use as your desktop shortcut icon. And then for the recycle bin, there's a full and an empty recycle bin so i'm just using the same icon for both which is this trash icon and yeah just click on open and then okay yeah and once you're done changing all those just click okay and as you can see we have it changed right here at the side if you have other desktop icons aside from the recycle bin and pc folder just do the same steps click on that icon and press change icons in the pop-up window and yeah now this is optional but if you want you can download translucent taskbar which basically is an app that makes your taskbar translucent or probably transparent you can also choose your windows color like this i'm choosing sage as my color and you can choose whatever you want another optional thing is to change your microsoft profile picture so yeah i changed mine 
I just searched for whatever photo I want in Pinterest and yeah, I used, I used that. Next up is optional and you can make a vision board. I already had one made but it was for my tablet so the canvas is different like the screen size is different so I just copied it and pasted it to this project here and yeah basically I'm gonna use this for my lock screen it's optional for you you can use that or just find an image The next step is to clear the apps you've pinned to your taskbar. If you don't need them, just unpin them and then start searching for the apps you use and you actually need to pin in your taskbar. To make it more personal, I'm also going to add a sticker to the external part of my laptop and not just like the internal layout. So I bought these stickers before and um, I guess I'm just going to be using it now. So I have Smiskies and Hirano's. I used it for my tablet which I also have a video of, by the way, and if you want to check it, um, yeah, I'll link it in the description if you want to check it. I decided to just go for three stickers and they look very cute. And yeah, I just didn't want to overload it yet. So yeah guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys were able to customize your laptops, your Windows laptops. If you guys did, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.